Have you thought about working in Poland, the Czech Republic, or Slovakia? Do you feel that such a trip could be a great opportunity? Well, it's true, but only if you plan it and take care of all the formalities before leaving. This will allow you to avoid unpleasant situations and not expose yourself to unnecessary stress. In the next four steps, we'll tell you what you'll need to pay attention to. Step 1. Legal Stay Let's start with documents allowing Belarusian nationals to stay in Poland, the Czech Republic, or Slovakia. First of all, you'll need a visa. You must apply for it in Belarus. You can do it at the consulate of your country of choice, or sometimes, depending on country regulations, through a private visa agency. Remember that there are several types of visas, and their validity periods differ, so check which one will allow you to work. What's next? Generally, if you plan to stay and work abroad for a longer period of time, you should obtain a residence permit. Depending on your situation and the purpose of your stay, you can obtain various types of such permits. It's important to apply for a new permit before your valid permit expires. What about an irregular stay? Well, not having a valid document entitling you to stay in a chosen country may have serious consequences, like the obligation to return to your home country and a re-entry ban or detention if the police or border guard conclude that you might want to avoid leaving the country voluntarily. Step 2. Legal Work Ensuring your legal stay in the country of choice is usually not enough to work there legally. To do so, you should also have a work permit. There are different types of documents legalizing your work in each country. Work permits, single permits, which combine the legalization of your work and stay, or other documents valid in the chosen country. So before you go, check information about the types of permits, the exceptions of when a work permit is not required, and about who is obligated to apply. Sometimes it's the employer, but usually you must do it by yourself. Step 3. My Rights Once you work in the EU, remember your rights as a foreign employee. The basic rights are the right to receive a written contract of employment and information in the language that you understand, the right to work in safe and healthy conditions, and the right to expect from your employer that they'll respect the minimum wage regulations. If your employment contract is regulated by the Labor Code, you're usually entitled to free medical care, health insurance, paid holiday leave or financial compensation for overtime work, and Social Security. Step 4. Where can I seek assistance? In case of unforeseen situations, difficulties or questions, there are many institutions like NGOs and other related entities helping foreigners in European Union countries. It's worth preparing a list of these organizations with their name, address and contact details before you go to the country of your choice. As you can see, there are some important steps to take, but if you prepare yourself early, this journey will be much easier and safer. For more information, please check our tabs.